What's good, y'all? Snap turtle back in the truck. Just got through doing my run. Now I'm back at y'all with a, another uh, video regarding uh, some shit going on in Georgia now. Um, now, if I have any supporters in uh, Georgia, y'all need to pay attention, okay? Especially if you have little girls. You know, girls that are of age, uh, of an age where they're starting to, you know, menstruate and all that other stuff. Well, Georgia has decided to give free tampons, you know, free sanitary napkins and uh, suppositories, whatever you call them, things that you shove up somebody. They're offering those for free to uh, low-income areas, to girls in low-income areas, particularly black areas. All right. So, I want y'all to pay attention. Why are they giving free uh, tampons and, and pads and all that to these girls? And where are these, who's making these pads? Who's making these sanitary napkins and all that who's doing it who's making this stuff um you know i i, I uh heard about this and then i was like man that sound janky and then you know on the star report star was talking about it how he felt like it was probably them trying to uh poison our poison the black girls and i and i 100 agree with him i believe that they want to give these sanitary items to, to poor black girls to sterilize them to, to to cause all kind of problems because especially with those uh what are those things tampons that you insert into your vagina those things can be a real problem uh you know i know y'all heard of especially my my, my ladies y'all heard of toxic shock, shock syndrome right when you use the incorrect you know, tampon and, and leaving it up there too long and all this other stuff. Well, my question is, what are they going to be putting in these sanitary items to give to, you, to, to your girls out there in Georgia? What are they putting in this stuff? You know, and why, did, why are they doing this? You know, um, we had to be real leery about what we receive from the government for free. Okay, we need to be real careful about that. Like government cheese, who knows what they putting in government cheese? Who, who knows what they're doing? And Trump is talking about handing out food boxes and shit. Like if you're on welfare and, and now you can't go get your own food, he wants you to have a box of food that they give you. You have to be real leery about what they give you for free, this government, because they are never operate operating in altruism you understand what i'm saying and when and, and altruism is when you do something for the sake of the good of it you know you're doing something because you want to do a good thing for somebody that's what altruism is the operate i mean the, the government don't operate like that <clears throat> so and, and why just poor black girls why not uh poor white girls why not why not just women in general why can't all women get free sanitary napkins and whatnot why just black poor black girls are they a drain on society and you're like y'all want to get rid of them you don't want them to have children see they put up Planned Parenthoods all over the place uh, for your abortion pleasure you know that that are designed to see Planned Parenthood was put in place for black women to go get abortions. That's what that's what it's there for. That's why Margaret Sanger started that foundation. We all know we all know that Margaret Sanger is a staunch uh, eugenicist, and she wanted to go. She she would go to every length to eradicate the black race. That's what she wanted to do. And then she builds Planned Parenthood, and we all know 
that she's a, a feminist. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all putting these dots together? Y'all putting these dots together? They don't give a f about your black butt. Do you understand? They don't. They don't. You know? And yes, I, I talk about how, you know, we all need to unite to, to stand up against this, the tyranny of this government. But I also acknowledge that black folks get it the worst. That's just a, that's just a matter of the fact. I mean, the fact of the matter. That's just real shit. Um, that's, just, that, that's reality, you know? Point to me where it, it, it isn't. And we are high value targets because of the power we possess within us that when unleashed will be unstoppable. I, I truly believe that. I truly believe it. All we got to do is, like I say, stand on our nuts. Stand, and this is everybody. This pertains to everybody. And then, you know what? There's nothing that could be more powerful than the power of individuality. Individual identity, individual freedoms, you know, individual rights. Right? Because without individuality, you have no voice. You understand what I'm saying? Without individuality, you can't discover who who your true brethren are. You know? Without your individual voice, you, you can't determine who's real and who's not. Because you're not real. If you don't operate as an individual, you're not real. But at the same time, unity is important. We need to unite with individuality in mind. Now with the hive mind involved. Not now with the hive mind. Okay? No hive minds. We unite under individuality. Okay? We don't unite. You know, we we, we unite and we bring our, our different viewpoints to the table as long as we know that we have a common enemy that at every turn is shooting darts at us. We can't be stopped. But see, when you start getting into this mob mentality, like this left versus right paradigm, this dark versus light skin shit, once you start this black versus white, see, now you get into the high mind mentality and you become weak. You're weak because you can't think for yourself. You are allowing others to think for you or put thoughts in your head that you might be against. But you don't want to go against the mob. So you 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 pretty much you kiss ass and you fall in place. You toe the line. Well, I'm not a line tower. You understand what I'm saying? I'm an individual with an individual uh, mind, and I speak my mind, and I don't care what nobody got to say about it. And that's how I've been brought together with so many people on this here platform. Because I, re I see people like me out there that think the same way. They're going to say what they have to say unapologetically. You know what I'm saying? They can take criticism. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, they're not going to compromise who they are. I'm drawn to people like that. Drawn to them. And it's sad to say that I know more people through this platform that I can roll with than I do in my real life. And that's how you know you're an individual. Individuals are few and far between. Oh, good Lord, what the? Individuals are few and far between. That's why the people <laughs> that I, I, I'm, I'm truly drawn to are in places like New York, places like Philly, Georgia, uh, Mississippi, uh, Louisiana, uh, um, Oklahoma, hell, Fullerton. You know, Fullerton's not a, not a hop, skip, and a jump from what well, it is, actually. Fullerton's pretty close. But y'all get what I'm saying. 
Pro Joe and Brianna is probably the closest person that's on the same wavelength to me. Except for my wife. My wife and, and a couple of other people. But y'all get what I'm saying. There's not many of them out there. Anyway. Georgia. If I have any, any, any supporters in Georgia, y'all need to get on this and be like, look, don't allow them to give your children free things that are going to go... I mean, come on. Don't don't let don't allow them to give you I mean, don't take their free shit that they want you to insert in your child or put it on their uh, their precious area. You know, because you don't know you don't know what can happen. You know, toxic shock, shock syndrome is a real problem. Okay? Uh, uh, one girl lost her leg due to that crap and individually died. So y'all y'all need to be real leery about where y'all getting y'all sanitary items from. Real spit. So, yeah. Don't ever think that the government is doing something for you for your own good under the out of the kindness of their heart because they never do that. Never. Never. I mean, look look at look at these Democrats. You think these Democrats are for you? They're not. Look at them. Look at AOC coming to Nan and pandering to black folk. Y'all, I'm going to do this, y'all. She don't, she don't talk like that. She know that. She know that. Um, uh, Hillary Clinton. I ain't no ways tired. Like, what, 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 what you talking about? You see how they treat you? And I hate to say it when, when, when Candace Owens has a... I hate to say it. <laughs> Candace Owen has a point when it comes to how Democrats treat black people. They think we're stupid. And about 80% of us is. But we don't have to be. I'm telling y'all, these Democrats do not give a hot shit about you. Neither do the Republicans. But they don't hide it. Candace Owens is trying to bring black people into the, the Republican fold. But they're using her. But she has a lot of good points. You understand what I'm saying? Not to mention, she's a Zionist. All right, she's a Zionist. She she hopped her ass out there to. She she flew her ass out there to Jerusalem when they made that uh the, the capital, you know, of, of Israel. She she definitely had mass support. For, the, for Zionism But she has good points when she talks about Democrats Take the message Leave the messenger I can leave Candace Owens where she at With her white British boyfriend Whatever she gotta do Handle her business But I do know she's a Zionist At the same time She know them Democrats don't give a hot shit about you And they don't And this is the same thing in Georgia These people don't give a hot, hot, hot shit about you Neither did that That black chick that ran for mayor or whatever whatever her name governor the one who lost but refused to lose refused to accept defeat y'all know that was kabuki theater in a the game and you know how you know how they play but the point is they're not doing this out of the kindness of their heart they have an agenda behind it oh let's give away free sanitary napkins and um um uh, uh, uh pods or whatever you call them thanks Oh, let, let's give them. Let's give them to some women, and and see. What, listen, y'all, don't do it. If I, I don't know if I have any followers in Georgia, but you know, if you have people out there, let them know. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Anyway. Oh well, you know, it is what it is. Wearing glasses, right? Y'all take what I'm saying. Take heed to it. It's real spit. They don't like you. They don't love you. They don't care about you. They want you gone. They want your children to not be able to have children. They want to control the population. You understand what I'm saying? They want to reduce the population. That's just that's just a, that's it. There's nothing none simpler than that. Nothing more complicated than that. It's pretty straightforward. So don't trust me. It's not gonna, listen, the stuff in New York with the measles and 
free tampons in, in Georgia. Look, come on, come on. They 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 uh, they are ratcheting down on their shit. They're they're, they're trying to bring this shit to a head. And y'all need to be prepared. You understand? So anyway, with that, I'm gonna say peace out. Hit that like button. Share the video. Subscribe if you ain't subscribed yet. And uh, you know I got plenty of content going uh, way back to October or something like that. So plenty of content. Y'all can go check that out. See what I'm talking about. And, 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 and judge for yourself what type of person I am. All right. Anyway, much love to y'all. Peace out.